Hello, my name is Luby. Today, I want to show you how to make a fencing notebook. If you have a spare notebook lying around in the house, use it. If you have a pen, a pen and a pencil, we're going to need that too. And this is a nice activity if you, like me, are feeling a lot of maybe angst, maybe uh, an existential crisis looming around somewhere here. Let's use that energy for good. Um, I got this idea because I realized I made a sort of system in my journal that I use for all sorts of aspects of my life. And this system came about from two books that I read that I'm going to recommend to you. One of them is very famous. It's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. And it's a great read, especially for um, for making long-term goals, making short-term goals, and for having a mission statement in life. He's all about that. So give that a read if you have time. If not, just listen to this video. Um, the other book uh, is a bit more specific. It's called Polyglot Life, Learn Any Language Quickly and Efficiently by Joseph Conlon, who's a friend of mine. And that is also a really great book. And it recommends having a journal for keeping track of your language process and um, knowing all the resources that you have and want to use as you progress in different languages. So um, I'm going to use these ideas when it comes to keeping track of your fencing progress. And the way we're going to start is we're actually going to start from the end, the end of the notebook. What we do on the very last page is we're going to write in pen and we're going to make two columns. Um, both of these columns are for goals, so write down goals in big letters, and the column on the left side is going to be short-term goals. The column on the right is long-term goals. So long-term goals, those are the dreams that you have when you think of fencing. What do you want to get out of fencing in your life? Um, so if you're younger than I am, maybe you want a fencing college. Um, if you're better than I am, maybe you want to become an Olympian, a, a world champion, whatever it is uh, that you want to do, write it down in this column right here. Because once you write it down, you make it tangible and you make it more likely that you're actually going to work your butt up to get there. So the long-term goals are the very ambitious things that maybe you're even afraid to think to yourself. You're afraid to tell anyone. Just write it down here. There's no harm in doing that. For me, since I'm finished with... Um, college fencing um, and I don't have plans of trying to make the Olympics my biggest long-term goal is to fence until I die because I love the sport and I want to stay healthy and happy and motivated enough to keep going and who knows maybe I'll become a veteran world champion if I end up pursuing that later in life but for now I'm gonna write fence till I die with the short-term goals, these are goals that are a bit more specific. They don't have to be as ambitious, um, but they are something that you have to work towards. It's not something you can get done in one day. Um, for me, that includes uh, developing a footwork program as a future coach, as a just as a fencer too, because I know that I'm good at um, following footwork of all sorts. I know all sorts of footwork, but when it comes to actively um, making a program and leading people in Fort Wick, my mind goes blank. So that's something I'm going to work on, and that's part of my short-term goals. So the last page, the goals. The second to last page has um, two parts to it. The first part is the resources to help you get to your goals, and the lower part, the most important part, is your mission and motivation. So with resources, if you're a polyglot, that's when you would write down all the textbooks, all the different listening uh, programs that you have for learning languages. To apply to fencing, I recommend putting down two columns. So one of them is the strength and conditioning column, and that's all your resources and activities that you want to um, make yourself stronger, faster, um, better in all sorts of aspects, physical, emotional, mental. So some ideas that I wrote down is for cardio, running and jump roping, for stretching, yoga, meditation, for mental stretching, visualization, watching fencing on YouTube, um, and having a calisthenic circuit and Pilates, which are all things you could do at your house if you're stuck in your house and can't go to a fencing practice. 
Um, the other thing is fencing related. So whatever it is you want to work on specifically, different aspects of your fencing, like your lunge, like your footwork, like different drills, whether it has to do with point control or again, distance, um, your lessons with your coaches, uh, different scenarios, different parries and flicks and all that kind of stuff. So just writing down different aspects of fencing you want to work on it is in itself a great exercise just so you become aware of all the different aspects of the sport so make those two columns and see what do you actually do nowadays and what don't you do like oh maybe i never really work on flicks that's not part of my game maybe i'll want it to be part of my game so just being aware of all the resources you have and the most important part of course is your why why do you fence? Um, it's really important to know, to recognize, because it will push you through really difficult times. It will be a great reminder when things are going well, when you're progressing. If you're injured, it will also remind you of how you want to act in, in difficult situations and how you want to keep going. Um, it's, it's actually a pretty personal thing and it should take a lot of time to think of your mission statement to think of your motivation so under my motivation mission i can share my um my draft so far because it's definitely a draft and again with these things write in pencil because these are going to change your goals are going to change your motivation you might tweak every once in a while so here's mine so far that will give you an idea maybe you'll hate it and you'll want something else maybe you'll like it and want something similar but here's what i have <laughs> I'll finally read it. I want longevity, passion, creativity, discipline, grit, focus, flexibility, humor, kindness, energy, and love in my fencing game. I want to be a teammate and a leader, a good example for others. I want to be a good listener and to communicate well. I want to win. I do not fear failure. I aim to learn from it. So it's a bit wordy and I'm going to cut it down a bit, but those are my values, I think, when it comes to fencing, of uh, what kind of sportswoman I want to be and how I want people to see me and how I want to see myself. So this is a great time, I think, to reflect on what kind of fencer are you? Why do you fence? So put that in your mission statement. The next page is your weekly schedule. So set out the seven days of the week in your columns and have a little section for the times. 24 hours or you don't have to write down all 24 hours but this is where you were uh, you're gonna put your um, fencing practices your other practices for maybe sports psychology visualization for meditation something that you want to do consistently every day and that is how you get better at something by doing it every day write it down that you're gonna do it seven days um, of the week and I like to, here's an example from the notebook that I'm actually using consistently. Um, here's my life schedule right now. I like to have different symbols that mean something to me that might not make sense to you, but that's what you can do yourself. Make different symbols for whatever. I, um, like a little open book for studying or a little foil for when you're going to fence. And um, important part is to set aside time for sleep every single night. Sleep is very important. Okay, and then after that, um, from your weekly schedule, will come several pages. So just copy this for like three or four pages of a monthly um, planner. And I think it's really nice to have a tangible monthly planner instead of doing it on your phone is because um, you can see um, when your next competitions are, just exactly how much time you have. Um, I think it's a better way to visualize how much time you have, what you're working with. And again, this is blank because I'm going to use this for next year, but my monthly calendar here is very busy looking because I like to put different reminders for what's happening in the week. And at the end of every day, I like to cross it off. And I started doing this thing where I put smileys that indicate how my day went. So if it was a really good day, it's going to be a smiley face. If um, I'm tired, I'm going to have lines under my eyes. Uh, of, of the smiley and um, and yeah so then I can I can see what's coming up what I've already done and I have a good sense of how much time I have for different deadlines so with fencing deadlines I guess 
the competitions are what um, you're looking at there. Okay, so that's the back with a focus on um, long-term life goals, uh, shorter goals that take maybe months and years, um, a weekly schedule and a monthly schedule, and then your resources and your mission statement. So in the front, this is where you do your daily journal entries. And um, I recommend having very clear entries for each, each day and just being specific, day of the week, so Friday, March 20th, 2020. Also having the year, because if you go through a lot of these and you look back on them, it's nice to know what year it is. Um, and then I like to start the entries with a little, a goal for the day, for the practice, for whatever it is. Usually it's nice to do it right before practice to say what you wanna do. If you don't really know what you wanna do, this is when you go back and you look at your resources and pick something. Today, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna really work on mirror footwork on my own. And then you go do that. And after you've done that, I like to end an entry for the day with three things. The first one is your results. Did you actually do what you say you wanted to do? And also share what actually other things that ended up happening because there's gonna be unpredictable things that happen and it'll be nice to note them. The second thing, this is again for um, mindset and positivity, it's to write down a gratitude of some sort. You can have one gratitude, you can have three gratitudes, you can have 10 gratitudes, however many you need, but just one positive thing that you were really grateful for that day. For me, often people make me really happy. So you can write down a small act of kindness that you notice someone do or someone who had a really cool attack. You can write that down too. It um, really makes you appreciate the sport, make, appreciate your community. The last thing is to write down something you look forward to the next day or the next practice to keep you motivated, to keep you excited about the sport. Um, and then once you're done with that entry, that's when you go back to your monthly calendar, whatever day it is, you cross it out and maybe add a little smiley for how the day went overall. And so this is a really great way to um, keep moving, to uh, set goals for what fencing means to you in your life, what you want to get out of it, um, why, finding your why, why you want to work so hard, or maybe not so hard, figuring out if um, it's a truly integral part of your life that you have to do every day with your weekly calendar, you can see that or if it's something you wanna do on the weekends or a couple times a week. Even still, having a notebook will let you uh, stay in tune with yourself. And I find that um, being really aware of your goals allows you to have a really strong daily practice that lets you stay focused on the tiniest of things because you already have something that's pushing you forward and therefore you can focus on these things that really make your game stronger and more exciting and more fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, this is really flexible. So take from this what you find useful. Try it out. If, if it's too much for you, if you're not going to use a notebook every day, maybe have a weekly check-in notebook. But this the stuff in the back of the notebook is especially useful. And if people have extra time, which they might with the craziness of the world, then you can really focus on finding your why in fencing or finding what motivates you. So comment if you have any suggestions, if there's something especially that you like, and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Bye.